Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Unshackling Sudokus and Puzzles. I am Kishore and I am happy to be back for a video again for you guys. Today is a classic Sudoku by Philip Newman and it is part of the classic Sudoku series that we started yesterday on the channel. So yesterday we had a classic Sudoku by Shai uh, which has been received very well and continuing on with our series, today is the second of the series. So we have planned to post uh, classic Sudokus for four consecutive days as uh, many of you have been requesting for uh, more classic Sudokus on the channel. So we have solved quite a few of classic Sudokus and have selected the best of the best. And this classic Sudoku by Philip Newman is one of the best that you'll ever see. So you may wonder, this classic has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, 9, 18 givens, 18 plus 4, 22, 22 plus 4, 26, plus 4, 30, plus 3, 33, plus 3, 36, plus 2, 38. The classic has 38 given clues. So you may wonder what is there to this classic Sudoku. I will easily complete it. But if, if you try it, you will notice that this is not so easy. It is a, it is quite a tough classic and it has a beautiful solve path as you are going to see now. So the rules are uh, normal classic rules. Each row, each column and each 3x3 three three box will have digits from 1 to 9 without any repetitions. And uh, if you want to try out the Sudoku yourself, uh, please check out the solving link from the uh, description of the video and we thank Philip Newman for uh, uh, giving us an opportunity to create a video on this classic Sudoku. So without further ado, we will start solving the Sudoku now. So a 38 given classic, can you wonder guys and still this, this is going to be hard. So uh, in box 7 you have 7 events, let us start with that box 1, 3, 9, 2, 4, 5 and 6. So which means that uh, the remaining digits must be 7 and 8, we can pencil mark them and nothing yet to disambiguate those digits 1, 2, 4, 3, 7, 8, 9, so the remaining digits must be 5 and 6 here and again no givens to uh, you know help us place these digits. Let us move on to box 1, 3, 4, 9, 5, 6, 7, so remaining digits are 1, 2 and 8, 8 is in row 2 which means that this is going to be 1 or 2. And this is going to be 1 to 8 but you have 1 and 2 in column 1. So this becomes an 8 and which means that this is going to be 1 and 2. And 7, 8, 9, 1, 2, 6 so the remaining digits in box 3 are 3, 4, 5. So you have 3 and 4 coming from column 9 so which means this becomes a 5. And the rest of the digits will be 3 and 4. So the start uh, as usual is expected to be easy because so many givens are there but let us see. Uh, column 9 looks almost filled 3, 4, 8, 5, 6, 7 and 9 so remaining digits must be 1 and 2 let us place the digits and 1, 2, 3, 9, 4, 7 and 8 so remaining digits must be 5 and 6 let me pencil the mark that quickly ok there is a 7 in column 5 so which means that 7 cannot go in these 3 cells so 7 pencil marks uh, into these 2 cells corner pencil mark Ok, 8 is in column 4 and column 5 which means that 8 must be in one of these two cells and because of these two 7s, 7 goes in one of these two cells Five, six, seven, eight. so remaining digits in these 3 cells must be 1, 2, 3, 4 and 9 and uh, this column has 1 and 4 so which means that this cell must be 2, 3 and 9 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 9, right? So 2 and 3. So this cell is 1, 4 and 9. And this cell has 4 possibilities. So let us uh, not write that. 1, 2, 7 and 9. So remaining digits are 3, 4, 5, 6, 8 for column 8. And you have 3, 6 and 8 in columns uh, row 6. So which means that this is 4 and 5. So 3, 5, 6, 9 here and remaining digits must be 1, 2, 4, 7 and 8. So you have 2, 4, 7 here so which means that this is 1 and 8. So I am just trying to look for cells which have only 3 or uh, 2 uh, possible candidates. So if you look at these cells there are lots of possible options. For example this cell can be anything uh, out of uh, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 8. So I am not writing the candidates here and this can be anything out of 3, 5, 6 and 8. So I generally tend to write uh, more uh, candidates as the Sudoku grows harder and not at the start itself. And if I look at this row, I have 1, 3, 4 and 9. So remaining digits are 2, 5, 6, 7 and 8. And I have 2, 5, 8 in column 4 which means that this is 6 and 7. And this cell 
can't have a 6 and 8 and 1, 3, 4 and 9. So this will be 2, 5 and 7. Okay, let us look at row 2 now. Because we have lot of givens concentrated only in the uh, border edges of the grid. So it makes sense to look at these rows for example, these columns and these rows, right? Because so many givens are over there. 5, 7, 8 and 9. So which means these cells will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. But we have 1, 4, 6 in column 6. So this will be 2 and 3. And this is not a 2 and 3. So which means that this is a 1, 4 and 6. Three, four, uh, five, and six. So remaining digits are one, two, seven, eight, and nine. You have two and seven in row four. So this cell can only be one, eight, and nine. So far, so good. Two, four, six, eight, and three and five. So which means that this digit or uh, this cell can only take the candidates one, seven, and nine, and nothing else. Wow, we have something very interesting guys, very very interesting going on in the grid. So if you look at this cell, I'll highlight those cells, there is some kind of trend going on. So I'll show you those cells. This cell, this cell, this cell, this cell, this cell and this cell. Let me highlight those cells in green. So you'll notice that there is quite an interesting pattern going on in here. So uh, starting at this cell, if this cell is a 1, this becomes 2, this becomes 3, this becomes 4, this becomes 5, this becomes 6 and even this cell, right? I forgot to share that. This becomes 7, this becomes 8. Starting from this cell. Quite fascinating, right? So what happens if this cell is an 8? If this is 8, the trend goes in the reverse direction. If this is 8, this becomes 7, this becomes 6, this becomes 5, this becomes 4, this becomes 3, this becomes 2, this becomes 1, this becomes 8. So this is what you call an XY chain. But uh, normally XY chains are limited to maximum 4 cells. I have never seen an XY chain uh, more than maybe 5 or 6 cells. But this one, a beautiful XY chain and no wonder it is called the Octopus's Garden. And uh, uh, the theme of this Sudoku or the uh, title given to this Sudoku is Octopus's Garden by... Uh, yeah. So uh, I think that's why because you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 cells exactly which form an XY chain. Beautiful, right? Superb. So from uh, this, can you gather some information? Yes, of course. So uh, let me show you something. So for example, if this cell is a 1, this becomes 2, this becomes 3, this becomes 4, this becomes 5, this becomes 6, this becomes 7 and this becomes 8 as we just saw now. And if this is an 8 and this becomes 7, so what you are seeing here is that if this is a 1 you get an 8 here, if this is an 8 you get an 7 here. So which means that one of these two cells would have to be an 8. Right? So if this is 8, this is 7, this becomes 6, this becomes 5, this becomes 4, this becomes 3, this becomes 2 and this becomes 1. So if this is 8, you get a 1 here. So in either way, 1 must be in one of these two cells, 8 must be in one of these two cells, 7 must be in one of these two cells. 6 must be in one of these two cells, 5 is in one of these two cells, 4 is in one of these two cells, 3 is in one of these two cells and 2 is in one of these two cells. Superb, right? This is the common logic that you can get from uh, the XY chain at this point. So normally XY chains will be uh, comprised of 4 cells wherein you have digits of the pattern AB, BC, AC and AD. So but here you are seeing an XY chain which has 8, uh, which is comprising of 8 cells. Superb. So the uh, common logic that can be extracted here is that as I already mentioned 8 must be in one of these two cells. You can uh, just put the digits and see that is the most simplest way to uh, you know recognize what I am saying. So 7 must be in one of these two cells, 6 must be in one of these two cells, 5 must be in one of these two cells, 4 is in one of these two cells, 3 is in one of these two cells, 2 is in one of these two cells and 1 is in one of these two cells regardless of whatever comes in here. So we can use this to our advantage right. So we know that 1 and 8 must be in these 3 cells which means that these 2 cells cannot be 3, 5, 6 and 9 or 1 and 8. So they must be 2, 4 and 7 
and you can't have a 7 here. So this is 2 and 4. And we know that 6 is in one of these two cells and 7 is in one of these two cells which means that these two cells can't be 6 and 7. Uh, the highlighted cells can't be 6 and 7. So which means that they must be 2, 5 and 8. So you can remove the 7 from here and this would be a 2, 5 and 8. Right? 1, 3, 4 and 9 and 6 and 7. And similarly the highlighted cells in column 8. Uh, can you see what those uh, cells can't be? They can, cannot be 5 or they cannot be 4 because uh, one of these two cells would have to be a green. So just to uh, make you guys understand even better. So I am saying that one of these two cells has to contain a 4, right? Let us see what happens if there is not a 4. So you will see how the contradiction happens. Maybe uh, that will be better to show you. So let me assume that this cell is a 3 and this cell is a 5. That is 4 is not in one of these two cells. So what happens now? This becomes 6. This becomes 7. Just a chain, XY chain. This becomes 8. This becomes 1 and this becomes 2. Now what this cell will contain? Nothing, right? So when the balance is disturbed, when one of those cells is not going to contain the digits that I mentioned, the chain will break. Superb, right? This is one of the best, best classic Sudokus I have ever seen, guys. I have solved so many classic Sudokus all through my life and uh, this is kind of new. I have never seen something like this. It's so pretty to notice. Uh, I have solved this classic previously and that's why we are covering it today. And when I noticed this, I was so thrilled guys. I thought that this Sudoku should be made as a video and this is one of the best Sudokus. So we will cover two more uh, in the coming days. So you will see that each of them is really good. So which means that we are certain that uh, whatever chain that I showed must be true. Right. One is in one of these two cells. Let me reset it back. Two is in one of these two cells. Three is in one of these two cells. Four is in one of these two cells. Five is in one of these two cells. Six is in one of these two cells. 7 is in one of these two cells, 8 is in one of these two cells. Okay, so now these two red cells cannot contain a 4, cannot contain a 5, which means that uh, 1, 2, 7 and 9 and 4 and 5 are eliminated. So these cells, oops, oops, oops. So which means that these cells must be uh, 3, 6 and 8, right? They can't be anything else. Let me remove the highlighting now. One, two, seven, and nine, and four and five. So three, six, and eight. Cool. So let us go on to these red cells now. We know that one of these cells contains a two. One of these cells contains a three. So five, seven, eight, and nine, two and three, which means that these two cells must be one, four, and six. Let me write the possibilities now. And you have a four there, which means this is not a four. Okay, I'll remove the highlight. Okay. So I think we have done uh, all the candidate elimination from the cells of interest along rows two. Uh, row 8 and columns 2 and 8. Now let us see if this is giving something else. Okay, look at this cell. It can't be 1, 2, 3, 4. It cannot be 5 and 8, which means that this cell would have to be a 6, 7 and 9, right? Can't be anything else. And even this cell has only 3 candidates. So 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 6 and 8, which means that this cell will be a 5, 7 and 9. So we saw that 7 must be in one of these cells and is that giving us an elimination? Uh, not really. This is just so beautiful guys. Really fascinating to, you know, construct a grid. Actually, the, uh, when the first time I saw this grid, I was also thinking, how come this Sudoku can possibly be interesting or be hard because there are 38 givens. I made sure to count the number of givens before I started because there are so many givens in the Sudoku and I was surprised that this classic can hold something interesting. But when I saw this, it was breathtaking guys, mind blowing, superb. So let us continue now. If only we could break the chain or we, if you could get some digit somewhere, I think this classic Sudoku should be finished in no time guys because all these digits have only all these cells rather has only two possible candidates so the moment we get one of these candidates we are going to set the sudoku on fire literally so it will be over in no time okay superb guys this is superb so uh let us look at these cells now. I'll remove the highlighting for now. 
because I have spotted something more interesting or at least uh, equally interesting. So now to continue the grid at this point, you will see that most of the cells that I have pencil marked have only two possible, uh, three possible candidates. So, and uh, all the other cells, if you see, have lots of candidates. So if you want, you can keep writing them. So for example, one, two, seven, eight, and three and six. So this cell would be a four, five, or nine. So it will, it is going to give us more candidates, even more candidates. So about the thing that I said was interesting. So look at these cell guys. Now we have a typical XY chain. The one we saw earlier was eight cells long. Now this is what we would call a typical, typical XY chain guys. So you can't see, you know, uh, something better than this. So uh, as, as I said earlier, the XY chain is of the pattern. Uh, you have uh, bi-value candidates in exactly four cells of the pattern AB. Let us say A is two, B is five. And you have again AC, um, A is 2, C is 3 and then CD, C is 3, D is 4 and again uh, this is, uh, okay, BD, okay, AB, AC, CD and BD. So when you have some candidates, that is uh, out of 4 possibilities, A, B, C, D, you have bi-value candidates in each of the cells of the pattern A, B, B, C, A, C and A, D. So when you have such a pattern, this is called an XY chain. Now how is this useful? The, it is useful in the sense that the ends of the XY chain. So here you can see that these are the ends of the XY chain. If you start from here, you can land up to this cell. For example, if this is a 2, this becomes 3, this becomes 4 and this becomes 5. Similarly, if this is 4, this becomes 3, this becomes 2 and this becomes 5. So you will see that at least one of these cells has to be a 5. Right? This is the uh, common piece of logic that you can extract from the XY chain at this point. So how is this helpful? So we know that one of these cells is uh, 5 which means that from cells which see both of these cells particularly this cell we can eliminate the 5 and how am I saying that one of these cells would have to be a 5 at least one of these cells would have to be a 5 what happens if none of the cells is a 5 let us see that because uh, it's better to see the contradiction visually guys because I am I am for one in favor of that. I like to see contradictions before I uh, go on something. So you, uh, let me put a 4 here. Let me put a 2 here. I am saying that this is not going to one of these cells at least is not containing a 4. Now because of this cell being a 4, this becomes a 2, this becomes a 3 I mean and this becomes a 2. Now look what happens here. Right? Uh, you have a clash of 2's in column 6 and that's why uh, one of these cells would have to be a 5. This is the uh, logic that you can extract from XY chains. One of the digits have to be at least at the uh, ends of the chain, at least once. Maybe both cells can also be 5, doesn't matter. This can also be possibly true but one thing for sure is one of these cells, the ends of the chain would have to contain the common digit. So with that, so with uh, that we know that one of these cells is a 5 so this cell is not a 5 which means that this would have to be a 6. Now look how fast the sudoku gets completed guys you are in for fun so if this is a 6 this becomes 7 this becomes 8 this becomes 1 this becomes 2 3 4 5 i need to clap here guys this is such a beautiful construction so much fun so 4 5 which means that you'll have a 3 8 pair here and a 4 can be removed from here and this 2 gives a 4 here and a 7 here column is completed and only possible cell left here is a 7 that is completed and this is a 5 box is completed this is a 3 this box is completed and this one completes this box uh, which means that 1 6 8 3 5 7 so remaining candidates must be 2 4 and 9 you have 4 in column 5 and 6 so which means that this is a 4 and these two cells become a 2 9 right uh, let us look at uh, row 8 now 1 3 6 4 7 8 and 9 so which means that the remaining cells are 2 and 5 so let me pencil mark them and these cells must be 6, 8 and 9 for uh, row 7. So let me pencil mark them. You have 8 in column 4 and column 6 which means that this is 8 and 6 here leads to a 6 here and a 9 here. Which means that this 2, 9 pair can be resolved now. So this becomes a 9. Oops, sorry. This becomes a 9, this becomes a 2, this becomes 2, this becomes 5. And the left out digit in column 6 is a 7. So uh, these four cells will be four, six, seven, two, eight. So one, three, five, nine, and nine cannot go here. So nine goes here, 
and these cells must be 1, 3 and 5 and you have 3 and 5 here so which means that this is a 1 these two cells must be 3, 5 and we can resolve this 1, 6 pair so this is a 1 and this is a 6 superb right and uh, how else we can continue 1 here resolves this 1, 2 pair so this is 1, this is 2 sorry this is 1, this is 2 and uh, 4 in uh, rows 4 and 5 gives us a 4 here so which means this cell has to be a 9 for the row and these two cells must be 6 and 9 for the column and you have a 9 here which means that you can resolve this 9 6 pair and that resolves this 6 5 pair that resolves this 5 3 pair that resolves this 3 8 pair and that resolves this it should be a 2 8 right so I could have pencil marked there and I would have said and that resolves that A2 pair and with that we have completed this absolutely marvelous classic Sudoku by Philip I will say that Philip can proud of, be proud of this construction with so many givens to enforce such a beautiful solve path is not so easy guys so thank you very much Philip for uh, pointing us to this Sudoku I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching me solve this classic Sudoku. I tremendously enjoyed making a video on this classic Sudoku for you guys. Please let us know your thoughts and comments and uh, we will continue with the best of classic Sudoku series tomorrow again. There will be one more fantastic classic Sudoku. Stay in tune for that and uh, in the meantime please share our channel with your friends and family who may be interested and do remember to subscribe to the channel. Hope to see you guys soon. Take care until then. Bye bye.